Okay, so as I mentioned in my playlist details, I um, was cleaning out my living room, old studio space, and I came across some cool things that I had mentioned in the past about concrete objects and just fit in with some things that we've been talking about, you know, treasure hunting and all that. So I thought I'd make one last video and show people might be interested. Mm -hmm, let's see. Um, just a little bowl I picked up. And I have little pearls, like little good luck charm pearls to go with my nail. Just really cut them off. Little high right. Oops, very loud in my face. Yeah. Good luck. Look at this big key. <laughs> Where did you find that? My mom finds all these really weird things. Just another set of keys. This is fun when it works, these batteries. Um, just a light up cactus for, you know, or a kid's room or you know, if I had it against a, like a white wall and not a lot there, it was just kind of a cute little <laughs> thing. And I never wear hats, and <laughs> someone gave this to me for my birthday, so it's a tie runner. Like, um, <laughs> just remind me of like an SNL skit. I haven't worn a hat in a long time. I need some no, okay. <laughs> Can't even see it. Yeah, so I was bringing a lot of stuff out and just organizing. I thought I'd show another one of these bowls. I think they're cool. Like they remind me of the uh, blown glass in um, in Italy, uh, Murano. And then I just I picked this up in Italy actually. Yeah, and I still have it. It's a little. Um, business card holder. I just thought it was nice and simple and cool. I'll just bring it out here anyways when it opens. Like this. This magnet. Just one of these. You know, there might be some people out there doing accessory design or whatever. And just a little basic inspiration. <laughs> I just picked these up at the liquor store because I thought they were cool. <laughs> you can, um, I, I think I had half a drink on New Year's Eve, and uh, I don't really like drinking that much, but um, yeah, and I fell asleep, so I don't use them. But um, I just thought they were cool. So <laughs> you never know what you're, you're gonna find, you know. It's always a surprise. Oh, this is just a paintbrush actually splatter paintbrush you like dip it in and um, bring it out kind of thing and just splatter me um it's that golf ball I mentioned that fell from the sky yeah. I'm sure there's like a golf course around or something like you know, hit their ball too far, but, um, I mean, I could have sworn it just, like, I don't know. It was just a very odd day. Here's one of the concrete objects I said that uh, I really liked their style and, like, all the colors and this, like, natural stone look, but it's concrete and just really simple. This is a soap, a soap holder. And it's, like, just a cream two-tone cream color and I mean like I did contact her she's not even doing it anymore <laughs> and doing other things but um yeah just a soap tray it's only $25 you know another paintbrush which <laughs> these large paintbrushes are really expensive but um you get for acrylic and oil but you can get the watercolor one if you're using similar consistencies of paint or something and it's like a third of the cost and I thought 
the shape of it was cooler anyways. It's Japanese Mandalay, if you're painting out there. You go through paintbrushes so fast because I always just let them, you know, soak too long or something and just paint. And, um, but then you got my favorite amber, amber um, oil. She was like a Pablo, so mm -hmm. earrings. I don't usually like be drawn to hoops as much, but unless they're like an interesting shape, I noticed that these are cool. My third party. I can't see. And it was really simple, like threads, whatever. And my favorite book, Castle Stone. I mentioned before, so it's a uh, and I never remember what the the names of any of the stones are. Um, I just picked them out because I think they're pretty. But here is another one of the concrete things that I'm just kind of like pretty heavy. It is a jewelry holder. I guess you could be holder, catch all kind of thing. I like it, just kind of, you know. Just a random screw was sitting out um, on my chair when I came back inside. I don't know where it came from. Not all over just the table. I would just love to design and um, organize and maintain like a my apartment kind of um, showroom kind of thing, just surrounded by all my objects that I can look at and talk about. Um, because I'm actually very like minimalist and simple, and I don't like a lot of clutter at all, <laughs> and um, or knit knickknacks or knickknacks um and just sort of all accumulated in here instead of <laughs> in the other rooms so um i just feel like this is a little playroom of like weird objects um, i did get a new um little, like, little pocket size one because my hands aren't that big and so um can carry them with you. I mean, this is a um, phone I used to nanny for on occasion. Um, really uh, cool lady, and she had these, and I hadn't seen them anywhere. And I was really excited when I came across the pocket size version of them. It's called the um, the Wild Unknown Pocket Tarot by Kim Hands. I thought about like designing a tarot card deck, and I was just like. I couldn't think of anything at the time. So I thought I'd pull, um, and I also got an oracle deck. So I thought I'd pull just a couple cards from here and just to see. I haven't even opened the box yet, so this is Mother of Pentacles. Like I said, it's Queen of Pentacles. Someone's precious to you or just very. Um, very sturdy and very grounded and be an earth sign, Taurus, or um, Capricorn, you know, here is Father of Pentacles, so that probably are not shuffled, but the two counter counterparts, you know, a lot of earth energy, just thinking about how to take it easy around you and turn it into something interesting just as a starting point or like even that thing that I mentioned earlier, you know, just where can you go with that and just you could, you know, you have screws on one side or just hinges or or whatever. But I always feel like, you know, just basic sort of Everything sort of 
stems from these sort of basic shapes and utility objects. So fun to play, especially if you go to like one of those stores and do the just walls of these sort of, I got all these huge wrenches and like this stuff that looked really cool. It's like something you put on a coffee table. Um, And it's all, you know, it's like things to like improve your bat, you know, bathroom makeover or something. So it's also cheap. Um, this is the nine of pentacles. Those are different cards. So and it was just taking it all in. Relax and ease lifestyle. Just very posing or proposing things. Just be putting on a show in front of some hedges in your garden. Um, Relaxing, very moody, luxury. I feel like too, and just at ease and ten. Ten of pentacles. It's great. It's good. But it's actually that was my card for yesterday. For my app thing, just maybe something having to do with an elderly person or just family and building up a sort of legacy or heritage sort of situation. Just having the ultimate sort of very Capricorn-ish. Tenth house Capricorn, you know. So, um, yeah, what are you sort of building up? Building your little forever home or something like that. Um, Daughter of Pentacles. A lot of earth energy. Love coming out. So I guess that's like the Page of Pentacles or the Knight. Maybe just slow, slow your, slow your roll. You take your time. Yeah, maybe the hangman. It's like a, it's like a bat. Reminds me of the bat that I thought was a cat toy because we have a bat, cat toy. I thought it was somehow gotten out here and went to go pick it up and it pissed at me and um I mean I think I jumped very like <laughs> back like two feet and um I don't know it was it was hurt or something it was wheezing and like um but I didn't want to kill it I didn't know what to do put it in like uh brought it out to where it might be able like I thought maybe it was like stuck back in her yard you know kind of like I don't know so, just, but, uh, yeah, that was before COVID, so, if there was some sort of <laughs> market type thing, I did see something about market today, it's just about Father of Wands. He is a, um, there's a snake here. Rattlesnake. Because maybe making your presence very like known, like rattlesnakes do. Just I think of like the rain, rain dance, those things they used to make in school, like just cylinders you put like rice or beads or something in and like make it sound like it was raining. Um The World, twenty one. Are pretty and the hermit. Wow, it's actually I have like a ton of hamlets going, it just does not translate to here. Yeah, it's dark, but it looks like this ship. And oh, I just don't want to have to deal with it. So, the Empress. So it's very Empress energy. Or maybe your moon. Something having to do with like a Virgo with the Empress and um, world wipiness and just out in her sort of haystack garden field. And just very. It always reminds me of Virgo. But it also might have something to do with my birth chart. Um, but yeah, you might have moon in Venus.
Scorpio. Yeah, this is in Scorpio. The world, 21, Scorpio. And I think this is one, two, one. Yeah, that's exactly sure. Father of Swords. Oh, like the King of Swords is just very direct, stern, a little bit serious, very, and just doesn't interject like with a lot of, you know, opinion or a lot of fiery sort of um, aggression or passion as much, just more direct and clear-headed and just very um, straightforward and uh, so maybe you're just feeling someone like that, another air sign. And uh, the owl, it sees, you know, all the way around. So having a very, the world came up, having a very wide range of perspective or something. Um, <coughs> coming full circle. Um, I, yeah, I forgot this one. <laughs> Wild Mystic Oracle. So. <laughs> Magazine. I will do that first. I was like, I always use books. Maybe I should use a magazine. And uh, go up to a page and see what they land on. So, sort of, I haven't looked at this yet. It's all done. Gains and losses. The Nine of Pentacles is gain in the tenth deck. And this is. Kitchen confidential, temperance, and things happening in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> metabolism. For years, women have been warned that their metabolism will never be slowed as they get older. This groundbreaking new study changed the equation. That's Amy Sagnott. So. This is Vogue from I'm Ready to Social. Ready to socialize and have fun. This is November. And this is Wild Mystic Tarot or Oracle. I say tarot for later. <laughs> and still lots much. Um, but yay for gift cards, right? not no idea what this is like so we'll see I'll braid from the bottom keep my space and raise it and yeah we'll see what comes up um, Yeah, I stiff. Or I could describe the King of Swords as stiff. Um, maybe a little rigid. Yielding. Maybe more so Aquarius energy with that. Um, very nice. This is family. Okay, that's what's come up. Core and adaptation. So, making something your own or quiet appropriation or just adaptability, maybe making space and room, changing things up. 
actually organizing and adjusting to work environment mode. And this is reveal. Makes me think of the song that's in the playlist, Mask Wolf and Dyke Fairy Colors. Um, and it is sort of wolf, so I don't know how long these are, but the cast is on the bottom. And that is a horse, or no, it looks like a chess piece of a horse. Um, play. Find to replay or do I want to make it a battle play? 